So the Nissan Leaf, it's a fantastic vehicle. Lovely to drive, very comfortable, very easy and affordable to maintain. If you had to build the perfect vehicle back in 2011, when this car won World Car of the Year, then this Leaf will tick all the boxes at that time. However, there's one problem with it, you know, and today that would be the battery. Um, back in 2011, 24 kilowatts was plenty. I mean, that was enough to carry you for anything you wanted to do around town. And you have seen on this channel where I've even taken this car out of town, doing longer commutes with it. If you're willing to, you can stop and charge. It has a good rate of charge at the time, 50 kilowatts. So there's plenty to be happy about with a Nissan Leaf. However, the battery did not have active cooling. Today, my battery has about 50% state of health. Still enough to get me around town, but it really is limiting if I want to do anything else. I mean, I've learned to get by with it, but I think that for most Jamaicans, if you're going to adopt to EVs, you want to know that your car can take you wherever you want to go without any or little concern. I'm exploring today if it makes sense to upgrade this battery to a newer one, or should I just sell the car, buy a new one? I'm here with Steven. Steven, what's going on? How are you doing, man? There in bus. Finally, we're here. So, you remember we had the problem where we break down on the highway? Well, this is it. We have a 40 kilowatt Nissan Leaf battery to swap into this car. Now, Steven is the most competent person I know here in Jamaica. <laughs> He has done several of these before. Um, so it's very important, guys, that you seek out someone that is competent, knows what they're doing. We're working with high voltage batteries here. Yeah. So safety is paramount. So, I mean, Stephen has his equipment. He has the right gear to kind of do this thing here. Better. All right, <laughs> All right so Stephen, mm -hmm. um, I want you to just tell us what are the options out there available for someone who wants to do a battery swap? Yes, well, hi to you and, you know, your fans and thank you for reaching out to me for me to help you all right um now you have the 24 kilowatt battery packs the 30 kilowatt battery packs 40 kilowatt battery packs and 62 kilowatt battery packs four battery packs the 30 is one that we kind of keep away from because the 30 had issues from nissan i mean they made it public so we we deal with the 24 the 40 and the 62 right um, I would stay in the middle, the 40 kilowatt battery pack, which you have done here. The 40 kilowatt battery pack is a good option, especially here in Jamaica with, you know, the commute and all of that. Um, 62 can be a little challenging because you have to do modifications in terms of the spacers and the suspension. And um, it kind of compromises the ride quality of the car. If one really wants to get range, then they will go 62. 24 is to basically replace what you had before, get a fresher battery. Um, those are becoming extinct because Nissan has moved away from 24. So they're dealing with 40 and 62. So you find that um, getting a 24 kilowatt battery pack these days, you might get something you know, in the 70s or 60s state of health, which you don't want to do. So I would say 40 and 62, if you, know, you really want to go high with the 62, yeah, those are the better options. Yeah. All right. And I know that there are some new batteries out there from Chinese um, makers. Like yeah. The, the CATLs. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, right. They come up with new battery chemistries, the right. NMC. Right. Um, that's an option too. Yeah, a, a big option. Um, I have not explored that as yet. Mm -hmm. I want to. Um, I'm in the process of doing that. Um, the, the, the Chinese batteries, uh, the, the density is better than the pouch because Nissan Leaf battery packs carry pouch cells and um, the Chinese are different, you know, the CRTL cells are different, the denser. Um, it can fit in the same casing and give you more range so you get more kilowatt hours squashed into the same casing, which is excellent. 
And I hear they're, they're more affordable too. Than oh, absolutely. Chinese, you know. <laughs> but, um, you know, people are shying away from it because they're saying that, you know, these are backyard constructed battery packs and all of that. But we're willing to try, you know. And the, the thing about it is that they do it in a way where you can use the original BMS in your battery pack. So you can bring in their um, modules in a box and then um, you open up your casing, put in their modules and connect it to your BMS, which is good. So it won't affect the, 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 um, the VCM, yeah, the communication, right? The camera, there's no problem with that, which is good, you know? So it takes the whole, you know, headache out of it. So we want to explore that as well, you know? Right. Well, I, I did think about it, to be honest, but I decided to go with the, the manufacturer's battery. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just yeah, keep it real. It, yeah, <laughs> it's not proven yet, but I, I think in time, once they start to prove that they're holding up, I'm sure persons will gravitate to it. So we went to the 40 kilowatt Nissan OEM battery and we went, reached out to EV Enhanced in New Zealand right. that gave us the, the, translator the, the translator that helps with the communication of the battery with the BMS. Right. Right. The so, BCM, yeah. Stephen, over to you, man. Take it away. Show us how you're going to do this, right? Yeah, yeah man. We're going to match it up. Steven, I mean, we're finally finished. New battery pack is in. Um, I'm excited to see what range we're gonna get now, but tell me, what was that like for you? Well, today, today it took me five minutes. <laughs> a joke, it took me a long time. It took me like five hours. Um, reason being, this is an older car and, you know, a UK model. So I would imagine that perhaps the salt and all of that, we had seized bolts, so we had to use the W40 to kind of loosen up things, right? And it, it took me some time to get that done. And also there was a connector, the LBC connector. It seized up on me and <laughs> it's plastic, so I had to take my time and we overcome that. Everything is back in, the cover is back in, all the bolts are back in. So, you know, we are comfortable with that. But it was a little challenging. It's like a new car again with this battery. Definitely, definitely. And we want to reiterate that because we want folks to know that, you know, you put in a new battery pack, it's like a fresh car. It's like a new car all over because there's not much really. It's not like an ICE vehicle where you have engine and transmission and then you get frustrated and with all the sensors and everything, I say, oh, I can't be bothered that you get rid of the car and get a new one. With this car, put in a battery pack, it's like a brand new car, you know. And even better because you have more range because you put in an upgraded battery. So that is what will give you a longer way to travel and you have many more years with this chemistry battery. Hi, right, Steven. Respect, you know. Yeah, man. Thanks. The pleasure was mine. The boss, you know. So <laughs> yeah, if you ever need a swap, you know who to ask. And I really appreciate what you did for us. Yeah, man. And of course, you, you, you gave me a challenge. You know, so <laughs> I have to do it. So I'll be taking my family out. Yes, somewhere please far. do it. Yes, <laughs> somewhere far for dinner tomorrow. Yeah, we should remember. Have, we should have a charge, right? So yeah, man, respect Steve. Yeah, man. Thanks again. Yeah, man, take care. Yeah, man, all right. All right, so moment of truth. Let's see how much range we have after the battery swap. So there you have it, charged to 
We now have 12 bars and it's 255 kilometers of range. Right, so coming from just 80, 86, there about, to 255. Major difference. So this should be able to carry us anywhere across the island um, with adequate charging now. This, this is a, a more feasible car to have. It's not just a round town car anymore. So I would say the investment is worth it. All right, there you go.